1800 hours Pakistan standard time Assalamu alaikum this is radio Pakistan the news read by Farzana Khan first the headlines Federal cabinet has approved appointment of Aftab Sultan as chairman of the National Accountability Bureau Finance Minister says the country has sufficient stock of diesel, furnace oil and motor gasoline for two months. President says online education and industry experts' inclusion in advisory boards of the universities are essential for speedy development of the country. Pakistan and Shanghai Cooperation Organization have agreed to increase bilateral cooperation in artificial intelligence, cloud services and digital connectivity. All parties are at conference has said that India has snatched every right from the Kashmiris including the right to speech in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. In Indonesia at least 9 people have been killed after a ferry sank off the coast of Ternate Island due to bad weather. And now the news in detail. The federal cabinet has approved appointment of Aftab Sultan as chairman of the National Accountability Bureau. This was a brief, given in a briefing by Interior Minister Rana Sanaullah at a news conference in Islamabad this afternoon about the decisions taken by the federal cabinet which met in the federal capital today while Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif chaired the meeting from Lahore through video link. The Interior Minister Rana Sanaullah said that the credibility of Aftab Sultan is beyond doubt. He expressed the confidence that the new NAP chairman will make the watchdog impartial to check corruption in the country. Rana Sanaullah said the federal cabinet also took stock of the allegations made by the PTI chief Imran Khan against Chief Election Commissioner Sikandar Sultan Raja and declared them as baseless and unfounded. He said the cabinet lauded the performance of the CEC for holding transparent, credible and peaceful by-elections in Punjab. The interior minister said Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz does not believe in sale and purchase of votes. Finance Minister Mifta Ismail has said the country has sufficient stock of diesel, furnace oil and motor gasoline for two months. Briefing media in Islamabad this afternoon along with Defence Minister Khwaja Mohammad Asif, he said in view of availability of this stock, there is no need to import these commodities which will reduce pressure on Pakistani rupee. He said dollar prices are now coming under control since the government has announced that it will complete its tenure. He said the nation will see dividends of this thing from next week. The finance minister also expressed the confidence that demand for dollar will be tackled by ensuring enhanced supply of dollar. President Dr. Arif Alvi says online education and industry experts' inclusion in advisory boards of universities are essential for speedy progress and development of the country. In a follow-up briefing on International Islamic University in Islamabad today, he called upon the universities to activate their senates to perpetually provide visionary and strategic guidance in addition to setting up the advisory boards with members from industry, manufacturing, agriculture, agriculture and services sectors. He said this would help them to continuously improve upon their circular and to undertake focused research and development activities. Minister for Power Khuram Dasgir says circular debt has been reduced by 214 billion rupees over the last three months. Addressing a news conference along with Minister of State for Petroleum Musaddiq Malik in Islamabad today, he said we are addressing pending issues in the power sector. Khuram Dasgir said that uninterrupted power supply is being ensured to the industrial sector so that there is no impact on the livelihood of the people. Minister of State for Petroleum Musaddiq Malik said record reserves of petrol and diesel are available in the country. He said there is no threat or shortage of petroleum products in the country. He pointed out that there has also been reduction in the usage of petrol and diesel during the months of June and July this year as compared to the corresponding period of last year. Minister for Water Resources Khushit Shah has said water conservation plans will be pursued to meet the requirements of growing population. Addressing an event in Islamabad today, he said there is also need to create awareness amongst the masses about the importance of water conservation. The minister said we also have to give importance to dams and water reservoirs. Khushit Shah said that sufficient 
availability of water is also important to improve productivity of our agriculture sector. Punjab Assembly session will be held in Assembly Chambers at 4 in the evening in Lahore tomorrow. Deputy Speaker Sardar Dost Mohammad Mazari will chair the session. During the session, a runoff election will be held for the slot of Punjab Chief Minister between Hamza Shahbaz Sharif and Chaudhary Parvez Ilahi. The law enforcement agencies have made foolproof arrangements in and outside the Punjab Assembly for the smooth holding of runoff election. Election Commission of Pakistan has issued a notification of 19 newly elected members of Punjab Assembly. The by-elections on 20 seats were held on Sunday. The notification of PP7 Rawalpindi has not been issued due to a count of votes. However, Election Commission of Pakistan today rejected the PTI's request for the recount of votes in PP7 Rawalpindi. The ECP board the case pertaining to this constituency on the directions of Lahore High Court. This is Radio Pakistan giving you the news. Pakistan and Shanghai Cooperation Organization have agreed to increase bilateral cooperation in artificial intelligence, cloud services and digital connectivity. The agreement was reached at a meeting between a Secretary General of SCO, Shuang Ming, and Minister for Information Technology and Telecommunications, Aminul Haq, in Islamabad today. The minister said Pakistan can become digital hub regarding IT experts, better facilities and time zone for SCO member countries. SCO Secretary General Shang Meng paid tribute to Federal Minister for the important steps taken in the field of IT and telecommunications. He lauded steps for empowerment of women, data protection and provision of broadband services in unserved and underserved areas of the country. The All Parties Hurriyat Conference says India has snatched every right from the Kashmiris, including the right to speech in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. In a statement, the leadership said the Modi-led regime is not even allowing the people of Jammu and Kashmir to assemble and speak their mind freely. It said New Delhi has gagged the media while journalists are harassed and threatened with dire consequences by the Indian occupation forces. The leadership said the hidden agenda of Hindutva organizations under the umbrella of Rashtriya Swami Sevak Singh is to thrust Hindu fascism in the Muslim-majority Jammu and Kashmir. The President of India's Opposition Congress Party, Sonia Gandhi, is being questioned by a government agency in connection with the corruption case. Her son Rahul Gandhi and she accused the governing Bharatiya Janata Party of using federal law enforcement agencies for political vendetta. Sri Lanka's Ranil Vikramasinghe has been sworn in as president amid hopes that he will pull the country out of its economic suffering today. Ranil Vikramasinghe, the former Prime Minister, is seen as deeply unpopular with the public, but some protesters have said they will give him a chance. Sri Lanka has seen months of mass unrest over an economic crisis. In Indonesia, at least nine people have been killed after a ferry sank off the coast of an Indonesian island due to bad weather. The ferry capsized in waters off Indonesia's Ternate Island. The boat was carrying 77 passengers and crew on board as it moved to nearby island. Four people remain missing. Colorful three-day celebrations of the 12th annual Baba Gandhi International Festival, named after the famous Sufi saint Muhammad Bakir, also known as Baba Gandhi, begins in Chipperson Valley tomorrow. Thousands of devotees of Baba Gandhi from Gilgit Baltistan, local and foreign tourists, will participate. In addition to polo games, Wazukshi, Yak Safari and Waki music concerts will also be organized. Stalls of traditional food of Chipperson Valley will be set up. And finally, the weather report. May more rain, wind and thunder showers are expected in Kashmir, Punjab, Islamabad, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Gilgit Baltistan and northeastern Balochistan during the next 12 hours. However, scattered heavy falls are likely to prevail in Kashmir, Punjab and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Heavy falls are also likely in Barkhan, Kolu, Musakhel, Shirani, Sibbi and Nasirabad 
during the period. And with that, we come to the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash Radio Pakistan News of